Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Lakshmi. <laughs> Hi, Shanti. So, are you awake still? You know, that's the beautiful thing about that question. It's a daily question. That differs between a question that has an answer and a question that is a movement. And that's what I love about your work. It's starting a movement. So ever since you asked me that question for the first time, I ask it every day. Are you awake? I ask that question to the sunrise. I ask that question to the rain coming in, the winds. And after a while, if you ask it every day, there's the watcher, there's the observer that's always awake, asking the question to the sleepy one that wants to stay in bed, doesn't want to get up and exercise or meditate or cook breakfast or whatever. But you start to become familiar with that consciousness that never goes to sleep. Mm. It's always there for you. So I can recommend it, make it a movement. Are you awake? Are you really awake? <laughs> How about now? <laughs> Yeah, I, I feel that way, that it's a movement of consciousness uh -huh. within yourself. And that's what I was really inspired by those words, mo that it's a movement. Uh -huh. I, I, when you said that, that's what I heard, that it's a movement. And I, I'd like to find out from you, like, what movement of consciousness has really been profound for you in your life? What awakening movement has stirred you? The most stirring movement is when the sun comes up and that moment of awaiting this huge event everything is waiting for that first ray of gold even the birds are quiet and I'm always surprised that that sunrise is never the same and I'm always anticipating it now for almost 60 years I'm anticipating it with the same <gasps> off and because it's a daily event, I think it's more profound for me than any other wake-up call. Because it's always there, it's always available. All you need to do is wake up, get out of bed. <laughs> All I have to get it in time. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, a, I think the Vedas and the Hindus talk about some special energy, prana being available at sunrise. And uh, I've noticed that there is some special energy and do you know anything about that? Could it be that this earth knows with every essence that it is needing the light to survive, to breathe? Could it be that every plant in the same moment, every bird realizes how life-giving the sun is? Could that be enough as an explanation? It could be. It could just be that the whole world is waking up to the first ray of light. And knowing it needs that for survival, for growing. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, coming from Switzerland, we don't have a lot of sunlight. And often we go become really gloomy and depressed during the winter times because there's not enough sunlight and even artificial lamps don't do quite the trick. And then when the days get longer and we have more sunlight, we get pretty giddy. <laughs> now, of course, here in California, I'm giddy most of the time. <laughs> so happy. Yeah. We have that much light. But yet, sunrises have been going on for billions of years. There is some, some other kind of awakening that we're all hearkening to right now. You know, I was taught that the body is mostly water, and now we hear that the body is mostly light. Yeah. And that there's a huge amount of space between the atoms filled with light. It could be that we're starting to wake up to that reality, and there's a new sunrise in us. Mm. The acknowledgement of that inner light, that was always there. We were just sleeping through it with a lot of dopamine in our system. <laughs> and to me that is the waking up from the Kali Yuga stage, from the dark ages, into the light. And just that tiny, tiny little bed of shift in the earth coming closer to the sun makes such a huge shift in our consciousness, which is a wonderful thing to know that it just takes a tiny little shift 
for a huge end result of awakening. Mm. And so that tiny little question, are you awake, can become a movement going around the earth we can ask it to our friends, our family, wherever we dare. We can ask it gently or we can yell it, depending on what's needed. Yeah. We can whisper it, we can cry, we can sing it. Are you awake? How about now? <laughs> Are you really awake? Thank you. <laughs>